Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share a project with you that I did just for fun. Lately, I've been enjoying making things using Prusa Slice's color print feature. You can expect more videos in the future of me creating objects using this color print feature. So for this video, I'm going to be making ornate teardrop earrings. I've always been a huge fan of intricate organic floral patterns found in traditional designs like jewelry, clothing, home deco, etc. And these earrings are an ode to that. So while I show you my CAD modeling process, I'm going to share a very honest and real story with you guys. I was taught while studying industrial design that you should always begin with conceptual sketches when designing things and that starting the conceptualizing phase with CAD modeling was sacrilegious. There have been quite a few times when creativity hits me and I get an idea to do something. But instead of riding that creative energy towards a finished design, I end up feeling overwhelmed and stifled thinking about how I'm supposed to sketch the idea out, or sometimes sketching rough ideas and feeling pure hatred towards my sketches, because honestly, I feel inadequate when it comes to conceptual sketching. That usually leads to me taking forever to finish a project, or even worse, I end up giving up on the idea altogether. My lack of self-esteem, mixed with my need for approval from professionals, are factors that I've allowed to hold me back creatively. So at the moment, me getting straight into CAD modeling rough ideas or simplistic ideas like these earrings is the way I get things done and let my creativity flow. I realize now that fear of failure is the killer of creativity. And that when I have an idea, I should go about it in whatever way comes easy to me. So this is how I do things at the moment. And owning this has given me the freedom to have fun. And having fun is part of what makes you more creative. Anyway, that's my spiel. printed the top round cylinders on the earrings separate from the main teardrop shapes to make the multicolored print easier. At first I was planning on attaching earring studs directly to the cylinders, but then I realized that when you wear the earrings it might look kind of weird on the ear and be stiff, instead of dangly like most teardrop earring designs. So in order to get that dangling loose effect, 
I purchased loop screws and earring hooks. Screwing the loop screws into the top of the cylinders would possibly have been a bit difficult without a hole, so I modeled a hole at the top and reprinted the cylinders. Happy with how defined the holes came out without any supports in the print. Next I glued and inserted the screw loops into the round cylinders and then glued the cylinders onto the teardrops. Finally I attached the earring hooks to the loop screws. I'm pretty happy with how these came out and I plan on wearing them a lot. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!